Are these guys cursed? They were being tormented by the monster slayer Fluff Hulk. So I came to help them and what do I find? The whole village was burning down. If you'd like to see all of this and more, join me in today's episode. Let's play! Hey guys and welcome to today's episode. I actually teleported here because I wanted to go for the uh, monstrous fluff hulk but seems that I kind of stepped into into a uh, village battle or whatever this thing is uh, is called so we are actually going to help them out. It's so weird because <laughs> I just teleported here for the uh, for the mini boss and uh, you know found the uh, the whole village burning this was so random are we done yeah i think we're done this is so weird <laughs> I I thought that the um, you know these uh, events kind of you know they don't just happen around the world. I thought that they are you know certain villages in the world will be burning when uh, when we get to them. I did not know that these are sort of dynamic events, right? About how brilliant it is to have someone like you that shares both genetics and karma in the myriad spectrum. Okay. Well, let's talk to this guy. Says the tribe Sifu sent them here to help defend against the rival tribe that's been terrorizing their village. Isn't sure how long the village will last if it continues. As if the plague ruining the land and destroying the crops wasn't enough to bring the village to its knees already. Uh, the plague terrorizing crops? Let's go with uh, the plague. That's what they call the blight that's been haunting the land since the old world ended in the apocalypse around here. The Sifu asked you to help, and that's what you must do. Well, I am going to help them, obviously. Let's see if we rebuild this one as well. Just like uh, just like the last time. Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, that was, that was unexpected. Cool. You know, like a... Something like a random world event happening. Pretty freaking cool. New days always start with hope. Let's cut the logs. I don't know why in my mind this should fall out and not in. Does that make sense? Like it should fall apart, not you know, collapse on itself in a weird way. What you had enemies uh, tearing the village apart? No problem. I will just uh, come here and uh, grab loot. <laughs> yep, the uh, the perfect image of a hero. So two out of three. I don't know why when I said um, um, like uh, when I said world event, it kind of reminded me of the. Um, the world events you could find in Guild Wars 2. In that game you could just walk around and all of the sudden 500 pl uh, players would gather in the the grass field in front of me and the giant uh, monster would show up and everybody would participate. I always thought that was pretty cool. So the village is 
Uh, let's see back on its feet. Cool. And let's has no doubt you've earned the trust and support of this village. Actions speak louder than words. You did good here. It's very unaware of you were here. Is always willing to listen. You did good here. Uh, show me what you've got. Let's see if he has anything of value. I'm not really interested in clothes. Ranged base type. A shotgun. Oh, radioactive 2. Nah. And frosty one, metric one, and irradiated two. Nah, I don't. I don't really care about the uh, below level seven stuff anymore. <laughs> Is that a ray of hope? Uh, these guys are really freaking unlucky. So, um, somebody told me, "Hey, dude, can you help? What is this guy selling?" It's kind of in the middle of to have strange road. from the dead zone that are so rare they need to be seen to be believed. Well, hello. Oh, so a sale, for a sale. Thinks you should practice patience if you want to make a good deal here. Okay. A brick. Okay, let's buy the brick. And clothes, really? But I don't really care about clothes. Although, although these are pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to bother with this. All around. But uh, it was uh, kind of weird seeing him here. Yeah, so imagine how unlucky these guys are. So I am taking the fast trouble point. No. If you said the village, bruh. No. Don't, don't you dare. Can't understand why you don't just give up on helping things. Don't you freaking dare. Is he gonna set fire to the village again? I'm gonna beat his ass. There should be no fires in this village in a 500 meters radius around it. So he just runs. Okay. That, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> hey guys, do you remember when the village burned down? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, imagine how unlucky these guys are. I uh, fast travel here so that I can help them with the problem that they have with the monstrous fluff hulk. And when I teleport here, <laughs> the whole village is freaking burning and the enemy tribe is uh, attacking them. <laughs> They're a bunch of really, really unlucky people. So... Uh, this is not the uh, this is not the enemy that we're looking for, but uh, hey, since we're here, we're uh, we're gonna take care of him as well. Let me get some energy regen. Why is he lying down? Did I stun him or something? Whoa! Look at that damage! Jesus Christ! That's way too much. Okay. Let me attack him before... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that was so lucky. Ouch. Uh, I want to pull him back here, because I'm afraid he's gonna sort of despawn and uh, have his whole health, ba uh, health bar refilled. So... There are some gorgeous uh, colors returning to the world. That's why I want to kind of take him back inside the uh, this area. Uh, let's see what the monstrous fluff hulk is all about. Bro, let me let me grab the. Uh, let, oh come on! I asked you nicely, asshole. Itchy trigger finger. And he's not moving. Okay, so I think I can take them down if I hit them in the head. I mean, it kind of makes sense, but you wouldn't expect it. No, 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 no. Oh, that was so close. That attack melts my health, uh, uh, my health bar. Great 
job taking out that monstrous fluff hulk. The harder they fall. Nice. So no loot, no nothing. And now we are returning to the village. Usually, if the um, the loading screen would not be basically half an hour long, I maybe would have used the teleport, you know, a, uh, a fast travel point, the, the one that's right outside the village. But considering how much freaking takes for that thing to load up, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass. I'm I'm just gonna run there. <laughs> I don't think it's worth it. Oh, by the way, let me equip it now before I forget. And I don't have it in my favorites, so that's awesome. Um, two episodes ago, I said that I'm going to show you how the... Um, oh, what is that called? The, the grappling gun looks. This one, the uh, Netra Tribe Grabbler. And let's equip it and let's replace... The uh, the boomerang, I think. Yeah, we don't really use it. So the nope. The reason why uh, I couldn't show it to you guys in the um, in the freaking uh, Netra Fort was because it kind of requires an enemy, so you guys can see what it actually does. Because if you just do this, it's it doesn't seem like it does. It doesn't seem like it. Uh, yeah, like it actually does anything right it's just it just kind of goes back and forth but uh trust me it will um uh, it will make sense and let's uh let's uh, let's check out the combos actually because i uh i don't really play with this weapon so i don't know them all by heart ranged and boomerang no not boomerang jesus christ the uh grabbler Okay. 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 So it's alt. Okay. Okay. I think I I got them, but it didn't work earlier. See, it doesn't freaking. Oh, now it worked. Hmm. Wow, there's such a huge pause. I, I, I'm pressing, pressing it non-stop and it takes a while to activate it. Hmm, that's, that's weird. Why does it have electric on it? Hmm, I don't know. Can, uh, can you equip, uh, not equip, uh, modify it? Oh, let's check out craft. Uh, where is it? The ranged. Nope. Unfortunately not. Oh well. Of course he picked the other one, Jesus Christ. Great job taking out that monstrous fluff hulk. The harder they fall. And that was it. No reward, no no nothing. Just Thanks, bruh. And that's it. <laughs> oh, so there, there is something here. And we just didn't pick it up. Oh, well. It's too late now. Uh, let's go for the sewer entrance. I'm not sure what this is. So, I'm gonna uh, fast travel there. And then I'm going to go towards the, um, the sewer. And if we find some enemies on the way, I will show you how the... Um, grabbler works i think it's it's a decent um uh, gap closer uh either you pull them to you or you get pulled to the enemy if the enemy is uh, you know a big guy and um okay so it's pretty close to us Any enemies around here? I don't think so, because this is our our tribe. Let's steal their uh, loot.
Uh, see, so yeah, I think it. Day, of course, <laughs> why not? <sighs> anyway, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty useful if you're playing maybe a melee build, because you can use it as a gap closer, or you can just pick out an enemy and pull them to you. Oh, um, but apart from that, I don't see it being that useful, Shopper to be honest with like you. That used to have tons of things for sale, but most of it has gone missing over time. Okay, we've got the comb cap and the useless consumable. I mean, useless for me because I don't like consumables, but you get a point. Ooh, look at that energy region, though. Hmm. What else? Okay, one more. And the handle. I think that's going to be... Oh, oh come on. Oh, really? I have to do it. No, no. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm getting frustrated. Jesus Christ. There we go. I'm I'm pro, 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 pro. Oh come on! Ah, oh, it would be, it would have been really funny to just fall through one of these uh, glasses. Should we? Let's try to go straight in. Oh come on! That was so close. Let's grab the loot then. What a find. Make the most of the night. Anything else wrong here? Hmm, I don't think so. This fog really causes some some issues with the uh, with the this frames. Gutway has centuries of old waste. So we are in the gutway for E. Okay, big room probably. Yep. Oh, there's like five of them. Nice. Bullets everywhere. By the way, guys, I don't know if I mentioned this when uh, when I kind of showcased the um, the samurai, the radioactive samurai. Um, the Sky Spark, the the big ability, you know, the one that looks like a freaking nuclear bomb going off. Awesome, by the way. Um, you cannot use it inside buildings. Can you freaking imagine that? Like, hey, I found this ability. It's really cool. I worked really hard to get it. It's awesome. Everybody gets thrown meters away. And yeah. I, oh, and by the way, I cannot use it inside of a freaking building. So all of a sudden, in some parts of the game I cannot even use that ability I thought that was freaking annoying by the way when I say inside a building um, I, uh, I, I'm i actually a bit you know wrong let's say as long as you have anything above your head you cannot use the ability so let's say you're outside and you're under a bridge you cannot use the ability whatsoever you have to let's say that the bridge is right you know it kind of starts here right and it goes this uh, it goes this way if i'm under the bridge i literally need to step outside use the ability and then go back in if i want to that is crazy like i i can understand you know sky spark and whatever but come on man imagine making a build around it just to realize that you cannot even freaking use it when when you have, let's say, a roof above uh, above your head, that was freaking frustrating when I uh, when I saw that. 
and don't get me wrong obviously you can use other abilities and if you're a color freak like me you can use the uh the red wisps right so it's not like you don't have other options but still if if you fall in love with an uh with an ability especially one that looks as cool as they made the uh, sky spark uh look i don't think you'd really want to use anything else to be honest with you <laughs> i think you're pretty focused on uh on the um uh, on the spike uh, on the spike jesus on the sky spark ability and i thought that was really that was really unfortunate I, I kind of get it, you know, it kind of makes sense, but at the same time, uh, you just, you just won't be able to use it, and that kind of sucks, right? So, I kind of went this way, because I thought this is going to be a dead end, um, but it turns out we actually <laughs> went quite far. This is so freaking cool. I'm really enjoying this, like, you know, we went there, we went up, now we're climbing back down. Oh, and we're back. Oh, <laughs> I spoke too soon. <laughs> we're back in the, in the large room. Well, that's unfortunate. I thought it was going to lead us to something really freaking cool. Ah, oh, well. I guess we're taking the, the right path then. <laughs> Anything here? I don't think so. Here? No? No? Nothing? Let me check this, uh, because I'm, I'm paranoid and I... No? Nothing. Okay. Progress to the sewer. Oh, so it goes deeper. That's so freaking cool. I really like this. It's, it's a bit of a, you know... It has a bit of a different vibe compared to the other underground places that uh, that we've been in. And this is kind of what I mean by these, let's call them unique side quests, right? They, like, they can lead you to some really cool stuff. I think this is the stealthiest I've ever been. Usually they would already attack me. Look how sneaky I am. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I just said, look how sneaky I am, and then bam. No, no, no. Oh, nice. Oh, wait. Who hit me? Actually, since we spoke about it, let's uh, let's do this. Uh, should we get the the sixty? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go to 60, why not? What happened with my legs? Anyway, let's get the biogenetics. This will be the first and the last time we use this. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you the uh, the ability. This is not um, biomutant friendly. Yeah, not biomutant friendly, bio chew friendly. Because, you know, there's no lightning to it. But I just wanted to show you the ability. It's freaking cool. I think it looks really, really awesome. Um, I wouldn't have minded, uh, you know, making uh, a dark one with the uh, sky spark and this ability. It's actually freaking cool. Awesome. Actually, you know, guys, yeah, let me let me check something. Let's uh, let's turn this into the um, you know the um, ability showcase episode. So we have twenty one, but we cannot get these two because we don't have any dark points. Okay, so let's let's also pick up freeze. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna constantly constantly use them. I just want to sort of showcase the uh, the ability to the abilities to you guys. So you know, if you're interested in the game, you at least kind of know how how they look. 
so this is the um i don't know the ice whatever i forgot i forgot its name it's really awesome the oh my god i slide as well i thought only the enemies slide i'm not pressing uh, i'm not pressing anything now by the way let's see let's see this again so if you're finding a bunch of enemies and they step on the ice they will start sliding like that um and i thought that i was unaffected by it but it seems i actually get affected by it as well interesting um i actually love this ability i think the damage is basically zero but the um the aoe freeze is actually kind of cool it doesn't always freeze the enemies but eh, it's it's decently reliable i think and actually uh, so many critters make their home in the forest when i saw how uh, bad and hard to use the uh, the sky spark was with the build that i had on uh, on me at the time which was you know strength and what 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 just happened? The freaking hell. Anyway, with the... Um, I was building crit and uh, strength. So as you can probably imagine, Sky Spark did not do a lot of damage. And then I thought, what if I pick abilities that just give me crowd control? And the two best options that I came up with were the um, the ice attack that we just got. I don't remember its name and um the um uh of course i forgot that i forgot the name of the second one as well i think it's like bunny hop or something like that let me let me check it out so away from the sky um so this one is called freeze oh that was <laughs> that was easy uh so yeah i think freeze has uh basically um crowd controlled potential and the other one is called storm hop this one it, it kind of flings everybody it doesn't really fling them in the air i think i think it just kind of throws them away like it pushes them away but still i thought these two abilities can uh, can do some really cool stuff and if i wanted to play uh with the uh, freeze weapons i would choose freeze obviously and uh, if i want to play toxins uh, toxin then i would choose storm hop of course um, mucus ball and mud punch are also good for you know initiation and stuff like that fungi i think works pretty well vile bile eh, not the greatest one ever and mud mouth i don't really uh moth mouth i uh, don't really like using because i think it's i kind of feel like it's way too over overpowered to just have the enemies fight themselves uh that's the first thing and the second thing when you're fighting a boss or a mini boss this ability becomes useless because it's 1v1 there are no other enemies that um the mini boss can or the elite can uh, can attack but anyway uh yeah this was the um the freeze i'm actually gonna keep it on me just so i can uh showcase it on actual enemies and then we're gonna uh buy the uh the other one as well oh so i need to fill this up so that the uh, the truck will uh, will surface i think oh come on this is so annoying come on you can do this thank you oh no i thought that i needed to fill the um uh, the circle. This is so freaking cool. I'm enjoying this so much. I don't know why. It feels different. And there we go. Flex those smart that was a weird death earlier. <laughs> and completed. That should be enough glow juice for two. Okay. Oh, this is part of Gulp's quest. Uh, he wanted us to find, I think, two liquids, let's say. Two substances. And 
and I don't I don't think there's another exit that I can you know just uh, take and just pop out so we're gonna go the same way we we came in was it this way I don't even remember actually it was not this way oh uh, but we go around yeah I get it now oh come on I'm I'm pressing up and he's going down almost there this was a freaking cool area a bit too short I think like three or four rooms uh, um, uh three or four more rooms would have been uh even cooler but can't complain so this is how it looks so it didn't freeze anybody <laughs> I think it I think it actually doesn't work on these guys and uh, I'm actually being uh, being serious about it because um, if you use it on enemies you know like enemies with freaking weapons and stuff and see the damage is is not that great um, if uh, if you use it on enemies it freezes them all but the last time I tried to um, to use it on like a creature like a uh, uh, you know like a monster or whatever uh, it didn't actually work so it might be that only you know uh, normal enemies can be uh, can be frozen and these guys cannot so the uh, the grappling hook it seems that it will not pull them to me it will sort of pull me to them but it actually stops way way shorter yeah i don't know what, what the hell's up with that oh that was nice so if you do the j uh, double jump and the grapple it will pick them up and uh oh no i thought hmm. oh yeah it picks them up and then it flings them around but not always oh they have to be really close Still, pretty cool, right? <laughs> Pick them up, fling them. Pick them up, fling them. And then work. Oh well. Still pretty... Pretty decent, I think. And we're getting out of here right now. It's getting lighter around. No, it's not. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm way underground. Well, not really way underground, but still. Ah, fresh air. So, I think... Should we return to Gulp? The thing is, I don't know where the uh, the second liquid is. I'm pretty sure he asks us to, to get two of them, not just one. And I don't really know where the second one is, and... I'm not sure if we can uh, find it that easily. Solar mirror. What the hell is a so solar mirror? I mean, I I have an idea, but I'm not sure if uh, if it is what we expect. So, hmm, run board, muscle squeezers. Hmm. Maybe it is just one substance, and I'm, uh, and I'm wrong. Hmm. Let's uh, let's go back to uh, Gulp and see what he has to say. Sorry about that, guys. I uh, had to drink some water. Since we're visiting uh, Gulp, it seemed appropriate. Although I'm not sure if water was supposed to be the <laughs> the best option here. Hey, hey cheers, mate. Gulp says he wants to take you with him on a super funny happy slide. Sharing is caring, and one drink for two is just right. <laughs> Gulp says seeing your face is like seeing his own reflection at the bottom of a glass. It never gets old. 
Is he calling me an alcoholic? There's even a chance the syrup is more intoxicating now from being aged in a radiated tank. <laughs> oh, that sounds Come so bad. Now. He's sure there are even more tanker trucks with radium syrup out there waiting to be emptied. I found one tanker, I can find another. Like I said, I remembered something about two uh, tankers or whatever. Uh, if there's, uh, let's see. I found one tanker, I can find another. I f I'll find more of that syrup for me. If there's more out there, I'll find it for you. Yeah, I'll find it for him. First of all, because it's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> blesses your heart for doing your part. Cheers when you're here. Oh, Manu Gelan Gulp says drinking shouldn't keep you from thinking. He wonders what's on your mind. Oh, I've got everything I need. Manu Gelan says you should take it easy. Defeat Gulp at his own game? What? Are we about to have a drinking game? Oh. Oh, it's on. What do we do? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that animation was perfect. <laughs> Chicken on Gulp. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bra, you okay? You know those uh, sort of the retarded moments when either you or one of your friends gets drunk and passes out, and everybody's like, "Hey, let's stop! Or let's uh, snap a photo with this fool." <laughs> let's do that right now. <laughs> oh man, this is perfect. What's wrong with his? Okay. <laughs> Let me. Oh, I think this is a decent angle. Yeah, I think this is fine. Let's try this one as well. And we're done. <laughs> Bruh. He's not moving, but he's still speaking. won't do any harm. He refuses to drink alone. You're his friend now. Gulp says he just can't get enough of that crunky syrup. It's so refreshing. Don't you agree? What the hell was that? You took a risk and deserve a reward. So he intends to keep the promise he gave you when you first met. He's got a few things, you see, that no one else has. Uh, and do you have many friends? What sort of things do you have? Are you always so willing to share? Let's go with that one. Rat <laughs> says that drinking alone is so miserable. It's really the only way to be. Gulp says he's heard a juicy rumor that you found an ark. He wonders what kind of drinks that might inspire. Yeah, because that's... That's exactly what happens. You look at the spaceship and you're like, I'm gonna make, <laughs> I'm gonna make a new drink. Uh, let's go with fast. It's fast and ready. Oh, Figures that's inspiration enough for a whole raft of drinks. Hard to know what you do with an ark if the world survives, but maybe that's why it's still here, right? Nope, it just doesn't make sense. He's ready to toast your effort to keep the world juicy. It's drink-worthy either way. Wants to know if you might want a master blender along on your arc trip. <laughs> so, what we have here is an opportunity to help your next. There's a seat open on the arc should you want to offer it as a gesture of appreciation. Hell freaking yeah. This is, this is my first actual choice for someone to take a seat on the arc. The other ones were forced upon me, I felt bad, I said yes twice, then I said no to everybody, so this is my first actual hell yeah. What's better than having a drinking buddy on the freaking ship? Let's go. Why? You don't need anyone else but yourself and me, of course, but I'm a part of you, so that doesn't count. If you want to go quickly, go alone. If you want to go further, go together. 
The only one we'd want to get away quickly from here is darkness. But you know you can't go on without me. Even if I'm bad company, I can beat you. Huh. I think we can finally agree on something. It is better to be alone than in bad company. But best of all is being good company yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cannot believe you chose him to go along. Says he's going to come up with a glorious new drink for your trip. It's hard to understand the guzzle, but it's something about flip-flop the flip-flops and not getting sourced. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let's go with so uh, show me what you got. I'm curious to see what he sells. He sells, <laughs> he sells toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to buy it. Uh, range, nah, nothing good. Nope, nothing done good. And done. So three out of four. Um, light is the best. Period. On um, three out of four places. Um, slots actually have been uh, have been filled. Oh, um, I think I'm gonna keep the last one for. Uh, for a woman, there aren't that many women bio mutants, I think, in this game. Or I don't think we've met. Have we met any of them so far? I'm not even sure. Hmm. Anyway, if there are women in this game, we're gonna we're gonna save the last uh, last seat for uh, for a lady, especially since that first two were freaking forced upon me. I will never forgive them for that. Um, yeah, actually, I saw something interesting today. Um, you know that I always say that I, that I actually like the uh, the dark guy more than the dark conscience more than I like the uh, the light conscience. Um, I was actually on Reddit today, and uh, I. I decided to, I don't know, sort of get a little bit more, even more actually involved in, uh, you know, in the uh, community, let's say. And I actually went on Reddit, on uh, on the Biomutant uh, Reddit and started, you know, uh, answering some questions there. People were unsure if they should buy the game or wait or... What's wrong with the game? What's good? What different? All Pointed sorts of stuff, right to be direction. honest with you. And you know, I started engaging with um, with the with the posts that I uh, posts that I could find I could find there. And one of them was actually the um, um, the guy who voiced the. Uh, the dark the dark conscience i don't remember his name i think his name is alexander maybe i'm not exactly sure i i think his name might be alexander i'm gonna double check that and i will write it on the screen and uh he seemed uh, he seemed really cool and obviously everybody was uh, in the comments saying that um you know they enjoyed his voice and I actually, actually uh, wrote a message saying that I think once a video I say that uh, I like his voice <laughs> so much and I wish he was uh, he was not the uh, the bad choice in the uh, in the game and also he I think he helps out with uh, with a charity uh, maybe you guys would like to check that as well and also he streams which uh, which I did not know. But I thought it was uh, pretty cool, so you know, check him out. I think he did uh, he did a very cool job with uh, with the dark conscience. Uh, where are we? Kind of. Oh, is this the uh, the reward that he wants to give us? The undersurf hatch. See what I mean? Like, this was a side quest, and it was not the type of side quest of, you know, kill five of these, do ten of that, nothing of that sort. It was just a, a really 
you know. It's an undersurfer, all alone without anyone in it. Yet. It, it has a different rhythm to it, I think. It's almost like a main quest and not a side quest. Hmm, I, I wonder what's up there. Hmm, can I pull these guys to me? Let me check. Yeah, I can. So this is kind of what the grappling... Uh, grabbler does. Right, so you can pull them like this. Nah, they need to be really close for this one. But it does smash the, uh, it does smash them together though. Freaking cool. Let's see if I can pull off the other one. Nope. For some reason, the uh, dodge melee and then ranged does not. Oh my god. This dying business. Is yeah, it seems like. That combo is not very freaking easy to pull. I mean, not the buttons. The buttons are simple, you know. You you dodge roll, you go to melee and then to range. It, it, it doesn't get simpler than that. It just does not freaking go through. And I'm not sure I understand why. And it can be very, very frustrating. And the beautiful loading screen. Don't get caught in a riptide. Can I do it now? There we go. See how long it takes? I don't understand that. Wow. It's a really long time. All alone without anyone in it. Yeah, go on, catch it. Oh come on. Oh, come on. Really? There we go. And let's check out the... Um, before we actually see Gulp's reward, I would like to get the... Where is it? The Storm Hop. So I can show this to you guys. Let's change the Radiant... Uh, the Red Wisp. Come on. So is the alt? Yeah, and for the for the hop, you need to be airborne first, and then hit it. Looks freaking cool. And I think it deals. Nah, nah. The dam damage is pretty bad, but it kind of uh, it kind of pushes them back, right? So. It can, uh, it can be a, a good chance to, you know, get some breathing room. Is the damage bigger if they're closer to it, to like the the source? Hmm. I think it might be. Or the higher I am. Nah, I don't think so. Still pretty freaking cool. It looks awesome. Now I, now I kind of want to do a build with this. <laughs> you know, constantly smashing the ground like this. And there we go. Oh, and you can, you can climb even higher. Should we climb even higher? Oh man, that looks cool. I want to check that out, then I want to check that out. <laughs> uh, that's something I, uh, um, that's something that I've kept, uh, you know, an opinion I have not changed since uh, since I started this play, uh, playing this game. Started this playing, Jesus Christ, I'm tired. Um, since I started playing this game, and I really, really do believe that. I think it's. This game is pretty, pretty freaking filled with, uh, with stuff to do. Never far away. So let's check out what, what, what? Come on. Why can't I glide though? Hmm, that was weird. But anyway, let's uh, 
Oh, we actually go inside. What? Why does he keep doing that? What's what's going on? There we go. We actually go inside it. Whoa. This looks so dope. This is actually just as good as... Uh, you know, oh, look at this. <laughs> cool. Um. Whoa, what is this? Smart to protect your melon. <laughs> um. Thanks for the uh, nice positioning there. But why is it so bad? What do we even do? Do we even do with it? Ah, that's unfortunate. At least uh, the submarine is freaking cool. Oh, come on. Is it this? Oh, yeah. It was on this side. Freaking cool. This was uh, this was actually actually fun. I, I really enjoyed it. So, with this being said, thanks so much for joining me in today's adventure, guys. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care.